Well, here's Mascherano. Introduces Jordi Alba into the attack. Now Neymar, who has that rookie defender, Bustinza, up against him tonight. I'm sure they'll be looking to test that right flank of the athletic defence as quickly as possible. Messi, there's that pass, and Neymar! Offside, it won't count. But that's the exact pass I was talking about earlier. Messi from that right flank, but Neymar saw the flag up against him. It's precision, it's got to be really tight, it usually is. And as you can see, oh... We've got both the reserve goalkeepers out here in this Copa del Rey final. Of course, Claudio Bravo, the number one for Barcelona. Gorka Iraizos for Athletic. His goal is coming under pressure again here, Suarez. Little drop for Iniesta. Experience of Adarith there, he knows when he can buy a challenge in a position where he needed to... Come down here into the capital of Catalan and get the result that's going to make them all happy, but... So far, it's Barcelona's come the closest to scoring. They did have one goal, it was put in the back of the net, it was given away as a, or given as a, an offside decision. And there's another free kick given, and this is the interesting one, I said at the start. Of a Catalan or Basque heritage. This time... I don't think there's that much contact, Kevin, I'm sure it's minimal contact, it didn't look a bad challenge. Certainly Neymar's made the most of the situation. Alves. Flag stays down again here, it's Neymar! It's a chance, real chance, absolutely great chance, and I think he shouldn't have went that side, he should have went the other side. I thought he was actually going to lob him, it looked like when he controlled it, it was on for the lob over the young goalkeeper. They're stepping up, they've run out, Neymar's on side, his first touch wasn't bad, but you can't go and beat him at the near post again there. That's the save he made earlier, that was a, a, a game-defining save for me. They go 2-0 down, it's all over, I can't see them coming back then. High kick from Ter Stegen. Neymar keeping in, he can't. Referee, oh. just for a second or two, waiting to see if any advantage accrued, and also stepping in in case there was any afters between Neymar and Iraola. Well, he keeps it in, then he loses his foot, but he does make a little bit of a meal out of That's what Iraola said, it's a free kick, but nothing more than that. Lovely one too. Neymar in full stride here. Chance opens up. Now he's going to have to use Danny Alves. And the flag's up for offside. I thought initially Neymar did brilliant, but when he got into the edge of the day, he should be shooting there. He's gone past him. Have a shot. Don't want to take another touch and take another player on. Get a shot at. Alves and Messi love working with one another. They're great pals off the pitch, those two. Rakitic, oh. Suarez, wonderful move! Two -nil. It's just absolutely glorious! How do you defend against that? You can't, Kevin, that's the answer. Simply you can't. Some of the passing before the goal was in such a tight area. Messi, he twirled one way, came out outside hook, played a 1-2, got it back and then he went for the pass, it was intercepted, but he picks it up again. And it's just unbelievable the quality of the pass and the movement from this Barcelona front three. Neymar, he's on the end of it, I mean he's having a great season, but look at the link-up play here. This is it, Messi, 1-2, then Rakitic puts him in, Suarez is onside, he squares it, it's a tap-in. And that's what the front three can do, and they're trying to step up, they've got it wrong, it's a simple tapping in the end, but they've just been so taken apart with the pass and the movement. They can appeal on the one, it's not going to change it 2 0, and I can't see any way back for Atleti Bilbao now, Kevin. Well, closer scrutiny of the replay showed that it was naive defending, really. That gap was far too big for Suarez to drift into. 
it's okay to push up if somebody's putting pressure on the man on the ball, but the initial movement was so good. I mean, you need to go back about 10 seconds before the final pass. Neymar. Pass. And make it 2-1. Because I don't know how many good chances they're going to get. Now there's another break on. Neymar. And Athletic Bilbao have got a big job to do at half-time with the scoreline of Athletic Bilbao nil, Barcelona 2. Time here for Rakitic. Neymar. Busquets. Lovely touch into the path and stride of Neymar. Now Suarez. The former defender with Athletic Bilbao, he's the club president these days. That's Watching Neymar in possession and good position here to threaten the Brazilian, it's Neymar! <laughs> My goodness. Wow. <laughs> Everything went right until he came inside on his right foot. I don't know if it bobbled or he miscued, but it's not what we were expecting. Does really well here. Good ball from Xavi. Wide to Neymar. He picks it up one-on-one, -on -one, skips inside. One, two players, and then he's trying to bend it into the top corner, and he gets it totally wrong. Joint top scorer in the Copa del Rey now this season. Neymar with that first half goal. Now drops for Dani Alves. Neymar back to Alves. He's got him behind Mikel Rico here. And in goes Messi! Lost cause. Neymar earning the free kick. Yeah, the foul from San Jose. Neymar getting a push from Buskinza. Again, he's a little bit impetuous, isn't he? Buskinza. And he's a quality player, but I don't even with Oscar, I don't think they, they could have done anything today because this is just an awesome Barcelona side, it really is. And then you look at the goals that they've scored, it's been absolutely breathtaking. 120 goals now, the front three, Kevin. Have an insatiable appetite for trophies. They don't prioritise one over the other either. You talk to the Barcelona players ahead of this cup final, they say, this trophy is as important to us as the winning the Champions League. And Neymar with a little bit of showboating and the Athletic players don't like that. They really don't like that. Well, he shouldn't be showboating, but that's, that's why they're getting annoyed, you know. He's turning on the stand, San Jose not happy with him. Show us some respect, I think. Is the message. Well, it could turn nasty. We don't want to turn it into what happened in 1984. Mikel Rico has just been substituted, looking to get involved as well. Well, it's Bastinza as well, Kevin, isn't it? He's been very fortunate, but this is the show button you don't like to say, and then he goes down so easy. I think they're more annoyed about that than anything. A uh, mixture, maybe, perhaps. That's Events that led to Maradona getting a three-month ban. It, that final proved to be his last game for Barcelona. When you've got people like Alessandro and Migueli and Goyka Chair all in the one part, something's going to happen. Well, plenty happening out here at the moment. There's a booking for Neymar. It's not that bad a challenge, Kevin, again. But I think it's because of the last incident that the referees reacted to that. Neymar's got himself a yellow card. Which will last, uh, last long into the night here in Catalonia. Neymar. He's going to get put night. Suzayeto with a late one there on the Brazilian. 
and a few the simmers on. Well, the ball's gone, Kevin. He's still having a swing on him, and Neymar does go down easy. But another trophy for their ever-expanding cabinet, and fully, fully deserved. What a way for Xavi Hernandez to leave the Camp Nou, a winner yet again. We've almost, in all our years covering Spanish football, run out of superlatives for the little man, but uh, it's a goal we'll remember for a long time to come. I don't think anybody else in the world could have scored that goal. That's what I said at the time. Nobody could have done what Messi did. In that position, at the angle where he was going, there was nowhere to go. And yet he, he produces it, he does it. They love coming into training, they love playing football, and, and, and they love the way they entertain. And they all assist each other, they work for each other. And they've actually just dovetailed. The three of them have dovetailed absolutely perfectly. And uh, that's the problem Juventus have got next week. How do they stop the front three? Well, this is going to be one long party in Catalonia. The players are not in any mood to leave it, are they? The fans lapping it up. Congratulations to Barcelona FC. Copa del Rey winners 2015. Commiserations to Athletic Bilbao. And as we bid farewell to you from the Camp Nou Stadium, we'll look back on how the Cup was won by Barcelona in 2015.